Hi, welcome to Joshua Tree. Ugh, let's go. We just escaped LA where it was raining, just pouring down and to practice good social distancing. Uh, when we decided to shoot, we decided a place that was very desolate. Nobody around, I mean, just look behind me. There's not a single person around. So we picked Joshua Tree. I've never been here before. Uh, it's one of my dream locations and this place does not disappoint. It is partly cloudy. I don't even know if you can tell. Uh, yeah, you can kind of tell behind me. Partly cloudy, nice and soft light. It could be harsh at some times, but we're shooting film today. I'm gonna pop off some digital photos. It's gonna be great. Make a great video out of this. Hopefully I can do Joshua Tree some justice. And it is cold as hell right now. Like it's, I think it's like 51 degrees. Not particularly my favorite kind of desert weather, but it is what it is. Tons of Joshua Trees right behind me. It's gonna be an incredible time for me, for Nathan, for just the photos we're gonna be making. And hopefully you guys enjoy the ride. Hopefully I can make a good, good video out of this, even though there's uh, so much to do. It's a blank canvas. It's what you make of it. So enjoy this video. That's a pretty big jump. Yeah, I can do it. Do I even need a jump? I can just stretch my leg. Oh man. You guys will probably watch a potential accident. 127 hour style. <laughs> I chickened up! I dropped my sunglasses! too easy everywhere just pull over pull up a shot look he's going now too easy Bakery in Alhambra. You see how like the road cuts through the trees? That's a beautiful composition. Classic leading lines. Remember that. Kind of wish that Yaris wasn't there though, kind of. Or Matrix. Kind of ruins the composition. Mm -hmm. It's all gone for now, behind the clouds, but we're gonna make the most of it. Shooting shade anyways, or ex metering for shade anyways on the Porsche 400. So, oh, and the sun's back out. Never mind what I said. Here's another composition tip. You see this Joshua tree right along here? Let me tap focus on that. So it's kind of forming a little uh, closed loop, a frame as you will. And composition tip for you is uh, called frame within a frame. So of course you have the borders of your actual digital photo or your film photo and that's like the first frame. And then you have something like this, a closed loop that can act as a frame within the frame. And it helps viewers um, lead their eyes towards the outside of the photo, towards the inside. That's what leading lines are for, kind of like when I did those road photos. These are all like composition techniques you could use in your photography. Hopefully I explained that well as I 
brushed it and whatever. You'll see it in the photo as well and other examples, so. You ever just wonder like how and why is there like these single rocks sitting by itself out in the middle of this frame and how does that even happen nature does crazy things Hey, what's up you guys? I just want to talk to you guys about like my overall thoughts of the trip and some tips that I can provide for you guys if you do plan on going to Joshua Tree in the later down future. Tip number one would be if you have the means and if you can, uh, spend more than one day there. Uh, like rent out an Airbnb or camp there because it's so big that the whole national park is too large for you to photograph in one day. Uh, I mean like Nathan and I like drove past a small town that's right in front of the entrance to the national park and that area is already interesting enough to shoot but we didn't uh, we went straight into the park and we shot for i think three and a half or four hours before the sun went down and that was it and we only explored like i would say like 15 percent of the park so if you can spend more than one day there that's why we don't have that many pictures it's just so vast and a lot of things do look the same but you'll find yourself stopping along the road to get out and take a picture many many times over and over again the entire video was scorched the wind was killing my mic i don't have a dead cat to uh jam the wind from messing up the audio but it screwed with the audio so much i, I think this only applies to people who plan to record uh while you're in joshua tree obviously you're not going to care if you're just shooting film or just shooting pictures but yeah look ahead on the weather and know like what kind of film stocks you would want to shoot in partly cloudy weather uh beautiful blue sky or a really overcast day so yeah tip number three would be to plan out the route so nathan and i have never been to joshua tree before and it was a dream location of mine and i'm so glad i went but we didn't really plan out our trip at all we kind of just went 15 percent into the park and then we ran out of light really fast there were like a lot of other things that we could have seen and yeah both of us should have done more research so we know like which landmarks we should hit i mean i'm not saying that the trip wasn't good because the pictures that we got were really really fun he was shooting on the Bessa r and oh i forgot what black and white film stock he was shooting on but he was shooting on a uh, provia 100f for his rolly cord and i was just shooting portrait 400 the entire time i did shoot some portrait 160 vc the expired film that's still in my mamiya to this day and i want to finish the roll so bad but it is what it is again i can't shoot right now and uh, there are some photos on there but i can't show you guys because it's not developed and it's not finished yet so thank you guys for watching my trip to joshua tree i really want to go back uh i don't think i did the park enough justice so yeah uh subscribe uh leave a like and comment down of what kind of dream location do you want to shoot uh pictures at and uh, i will see you guys in the next video peace